Scream. This isn't just my favorite in the franchise, it's one of my favorite movies, period. The acting is phenomenal throughout, the music is great, the use of loud cuts to songs during scene transitions, that acoustic cover of Don't Fear the Reaper uses foreshadowing, so many memorable lines in here as well. 5 out of 5. Coming off a near perfect movie, Scream 2 feels pretty mediocre. The car scene is very suspenseful though, the acting takes a dip in quality, but Nev still does great. I didn't like the killers this time around, they're not even in the movie that much, I mean, it was probably planned that way, but it seems much more uneventful when they're revealed. Luke Wilson as Stab Billy was great. There's some scenes here that I just laugh at to be honest. 3 out of 5. In terms of quality, Scream 3 feels almost identical to 2. Both do have very good acting almost exclusively in the killer Sydney reveal scenes. But I do want to stress that the acting is great in those parts of both films. There's some parts I really like in this entry. The bloody blanket covered Mama Prescott is a great aesthetic. Post Scream 2 secluded Sydney was a good idea that was well executed. The killer is another pretty uninvolved character again in terms of interactions with the main cast throughout the first two acts. There's attempts to tie this movie in with the rest of the series, sort of tongue in cheek, but still very reaching and unneeded. There's another bunch of laughable scenes, but still not a bad movie in my mind. 3 out of 5. Scream 4. I like this new Sydney. I really like Hayden Panettiere in this and otherwise. There's nothing too terrible about this movie, but also nothing too great. Half of the reveal is good, and the other half isn't. Half the characters are barely characters. The worst thing is that it's almost as if the movie can't go a single scene without the characters bringing up some meta shit. I get that that may be Scream's legacy, but it wasn't in your face constantly in the other movies. 2.5 out of 5. Scream Season 1. I tried to watch this so many times throughout the years because I liked the movie series, but every time I'd watch the first one or two episodes and get bored. But when I finally made it further, I loved it. I couldn't stop watching. The characters really grow on you and their portrayals are great. The story is woven so well and the pacing becomes very good, even with the rough start. This has to be one of the best seasons of a television show I've seen in the past decade. 4.75 out of 5. Season 2 starts off good and even has some great parts throughout its run. Some surprises, some obvious, surely supposed to be surprises, but by the time it all ended, I was over it. The killer reveal wasn't as good and the trip there wasn't as well stringed together. Basically all that's driving the show by the second half of the season is your attachment to the characters, which starts to wane once the actors are giving less and less to work with. There's sort of a cliffhanger end to the season, which really does come out of nowhere, makes you scratch your head, but at the very least makes you want to figure out how. 2 out of 5. Scream Halloween Special. This is a two part special and I don't know why they made this. It feels just as lifeless as season 2 and worse doesn't really add anything to the story, which would have been good as season 2 ended on what seemed to be a hell of a story beginning. Yeah, it doesn't really elaborate on that cliffhanger ending I mentioned from season 2. There's some new characters that you'll forget. I have 1.5 out of 5. So apparently there's a season 3 of Scream, but I watched it now after I already made the video. It was okay. Um, started out good you know it was only six episodes but it like died halfway through it was funny i laughed audibly more than a couple of times the twist is kind of lame the, the main killer after the reveal still is probably the best acting keeping in terms with the rest of it sometimes it's a bit like in your face with the meta stuff, but not as bad as Scream 4. 
I don't know, like a two out of five. Thanks for watching.